Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, this program will begin in 5 minutes. Please stay tuned and stay calm with us. Thank you.
that day, Dad. Hello, Shami. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. <coughs> Good morning. Right. How are you, Dad? Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm great. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, all right. So, uh, today we will start our first slot, which is top one, all you need to know about banks. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? This program is about to begin. Honorable guest speaker, Dr. Nazikin Mangoma, the head of English Language Department, Ketua Pusat Pengajian Bahasa Inggeris of UNIZA, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. I'm Muhammad Shahmi Haikal as your uh, host for today and it's, play, and it's been a pleasure to be your host. So praise to Allah SWT, have we, we have been graced by the chance together in this momentous program. I would like to extend a very warm welcome to everyone to our first slot of FBK Open Day organized by Satuan Mahasiswa, Faculty Bahasa State and Komunikasi, Falcom, University, Sultan Tanah Abidin. Before we move on, let us begin with the recitation of Al-Fatiha. Al-Fatiha. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, may I briefly introduce our guest speaker, Dr. Nazikin Mama Omar. For your information, she is the head of English Language Department in Indonesia. Without further ado, the program will proceed with our forum of the title, All You Need to Know About Ben. So this event is purposely to introduce Ben, which is Bachelor of English with Communication, our course, one of the courses uh, in FBK. And there are two kind of talks that will be held, which are the first one is this morning and the other one on the 15th of August, where we will, we will invite an alumni as the guest speaker. So he will share his point of view from the industrial or working uh, experience. Uh, not to forget, I'm going to uh, explain or share with you guys there are four courses in FBK. The first one is, uh, like you know, Ben, Bachelor of English with Communication. And then we have Bas, uh, Bachelor of Arabic Studies. And then there are another two new courses, which are Perhubungan Awam dan Media Contemporary or PR, we call it Public Relation in English. And also another one, Bahasa Melayu Contemporary dengan Media Kepujian. So these two new courses, which are the Perhubungan Awam and Bahasa Melayu, are offered starting this semester for the new undergraduate students. All right, uh, Miss Doctor? All right. So with me here is Dr. Azikin. <laughs> so okay, uh, I hope you, uh, I hope all is well for you. All right. All right. So okay. All you, all you need yeah. to know about Ben. So the title, the title already speaks for itself, right? So all you need to know about Ben. So in this talk or in this session, we will dissect one by one from the starting until the beginning of what is Ben is all about. All right. So I have prepared a several questions to be discussed together with you, Dr. Ajitin. So uh, bear in mind everyone that this is just a not a really a serious or formal uh, talking. We are, it's just more like a chit chat. But we, we the most important thing is the input or insight that are going to be given to those who are listening and watching. So without further ado, miss, let's start. Uh, okay, so the first question is, uh the basic ones we will go with the basic ones first the first question is miss what is ban so yeah even though we know what is ban but uh, i would like to have a explanation from our head of department all Pleasure. right okay okay thank you so much Shami, for inviting me i'm so happy and thrilled to talk to you about ban one of the programs that we offered in FBK. All right, so BEM is actually an acronym for, like Shami have mentioned just now, it's Bachelor in English with Communication. All right, this program was introduced in 2005 and we received the full accreditation from Malaysian Qualification Agency in 2015. All right, it's a four-year program. It, it is not that long. It's um, the normal um, duration for <clears throat> most of the degree programs in Malaysia. And as far as we concern, um, as of now, it is the only program in Malaysia um, that offers um, English and communication um, in one program, okay, in, in the public higher institution. All right, so among the aims of the program, uh, for us, we wanted to produce students who are knowledgeable in technical skills in the field of English and also communication in accordance to what the industry requires. 
All right. We also want students who are able to communicate effectively, like Shahmi, like my other students, the other alumni. They are very great, um, fluent speakers um, and be able to demonstrate good leadership qualities in organization. We also want to enhance um, or to develop their skills in solving problems in relation to the field of English um, communication. Sorry, in the field of English language and communication. And also, we want them to be able to demonstrate skills and be aware of the need for lifelong learning for successful career development. All right, so as of now, all right, currently we have 200 and 50 students approximately all right um from semester two until semester six and our uh cohort last cohort 16 slash 17 alhamdulillah band eight just completed their studies last july and uh, we are happy to inform um, everyone that some of them has already um, secured jobs Wonderful, <clears throat> wonderful news. That is very wonderful to hear, and it's very pleasant news because uh, because some of the seniors uh, I might know them, and yeah, that is a very good thing to hear because. Uh, Did they know you? Uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe they, maybe they, they knew me as the president, not as say. Nah, no, just kidding. I'm just kidding, Shami. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, and then, so from that point of view, or from that, uh, what have you told? So it could, uh, for especially for me, a uh, third year student who's about to become mm -hmm. a final year student. So yeah, that would be a, like mm -hmm. a uh, inspiration or catalyst, you know, to you know at least uh, go for a a good adventure after I finish with bank uh, program. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. that depends on every in individual of with class or what kind of class that you want so you want to further your studies you want to continue yeah. working and it all depends on the individual itself so yeah we just go by the basic or general ones all right Miss. so can we move on to the next question yes sure all right so the next question uh since we are getting along with the uh, program so we might we must uh know what are the courses right because we are going to learn the program so you need to know the courses first or else you are learning things that you don't know or you like what what is this and then suddenly you are being uh you are going to drop out you gave up and etc because you actually you didn't know what course that you are about to take that is the problem that i seen uh especially for those who are about to apply for upu because uh like everyone which would suggest follow your heart don't follow your friend or everyone else because you will not that will not uh determine your future right yeah i think i've been doubling too much uh, the floor is yours miss for the courses required or the courses in band that are offered they are offered in that occasion. Yeah. All right, so as the name suggests, the program offers both um, subjects in the English language field as well as communication. Hence, the courses that we offer will cover within these two parameters. So among the courses for English language field is Introduction to Language and Linguistics. I had a chance to teach this subject. Um, it was not for your cohort, but for the younger, um, for your junior. Um, it's very interesting where you will be learned about the basic concepts and approaches to different branches of linguistics. Um, and also you will learn the origins of language, all right? How we produce language, how animals produce language, and then also the introduction to the varieties of language. For instance, the formation of slangs, the formations of dialects due to the globalization. So this is... Um, a basic ones, and later you will learn deeper into the branches of linguistics. All right, another one um, that I think um, worth mentioning is public speaking. All right, so in this course, you will be exposed to different types of speeches, how to become a public speaker. As I have mentioned, I am proud to say that uh, majority of band students are very good at communicating and very good at presenting all right so they are not afraid they have the confidence to speak in the public and then 
intense to this uh, course, um, which is public speaking, will enhance more their presentation skills as a public speaker. We also have literature subject, uh, uh, which is very interesting as well. Um, I do like literature. Um, and um, from my past experience, I, um, I watch um, uh, your seniors, the students um, who entered the drama competition where they prepared the scripts and then they act um, within the storyline that they have created. All right. It's so that course not only help them to uh, be more competent in terms of speaking, in terms of their writing, but also um, in terms of building their confidence in front of the public. All right. So the next one introduction to history of English language. Um, so as I said, the word history might not be quite uh, interesting, but it is actually important for you to know the origin the changes and the reasons why English language change, right? So in this in this course, you will learn about um, the important changes within different periods of the history of English language um, that includes spelling, grammar, vocab, and also why, uh, like I say, why they change, why these changes, uh, why these changes have um, occurred or happened. And we also have English morphology and syntax, English semantics, psycholinguistics, phonetics and phonology, all the tips, tips, subjects. It means subjects that covered in linguistics. All right. So these are the block branches of linguistics that you have learned in the introduction. But in the subjects that I've just mentioned just now, you will learn deeper all right, about these interesting branches. All right. Um, maybe I'd like to ask you one question. What is your favorite linguistic subject, um, Shahmi? Uh, <coughs> all right. Uh, I did see it coming. Uh, <laughs> okay. Maybe, just say any any of the subject that you uh, you know that have garnered your interest in linguistics. I think in terms of linguistic, uh, maybe phonetics, phonology. Phonetics, phonology. Uh, very good. That, mm -hmm. that doesn't that I am good at it, but <laughs> I am interested in it because it's like you can write a secret message between just uh, among yourself, among those who learn phonetics, because not everyone could read uh, the phonetics. Uh, uh, Transcription, right? yeah. yeah. So All right. Some kind of special speciality, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the point that I wanted to make. So in this uh, phonetics and phonology. It, when I did my degree, it wasn't my, I, I didn't really like it because it was hard, it was difficult. Uh, but to my surprise, it's very, very important when I step out up, outside the uni because it will, it, in that course, you will learn how to uh, sound better, all right? You will learn how to pronounce better, um, like for instance, um, the consonants and the vowels, there are different ways uh, in terms of pronunciation, all right? And also, like Shami have mentioned about the transcription, all right? So based on the transcription, um, we will learn how to, like I said, to articulate bit better, to articulate and pronounce better. So for instance, the word um, barber and barber. All right, so if you uh, pronounce it wrongly, then it will be, you know, totally a different meaning or some people will not understand um, what um, uh, what you, uh, the words that you mentioned, they might misunderstood. Uh, like for instance, maybe I'll give you another instance, um, but maybe not because that word is not. I not think, uh, I, I guess three and three. That one is easy. Yeah, three. And three, yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. So I really like about Shami mentioned about a secret code. Um, usually, only students who learn linguistics will be able to read the transcriptions, um, and students who you know from outside field may not know about uh, transcriptions. Okay. Um, another one is introduction to translation. What about translation? How do you like it, um, Shami? 
Uh, yeah, this one is another interesting subject and I've just recently learned it in semester 6. Uh, it is very interesting because at first when you did not learn this course, you think that you can just translate everything in any way that you want. But actually there are rules governed to how to be translated and there are two which are directly or indirectly or we call it oblique and uh, what is, I almost forgot but yeah, direct and indirect. So, you could just, uh, the easiest way is you just uh, take word by word. So mm -hmm. that's what we've been doing all this time. But we don't know that there has been six or seven techniques on how to actually make a translation. You know, you mm -hmm. could put the words on the back uh, in front and then you could uh, make addition, you could uh, subtract, you could. Uh, so there are so many skills that you will, would learn when you enter the course. So yeah. That yeah, that's easy. true. That's true. It's, it is actually one of the most important subjects that we offer in them. Okay, because I uh, like Shami have mentioned, I'd like to stress it again that students will be introduced to the concepts, theories, principles, and the processes of translation. All right, so the emphasis will be given to the practice from translating English to BM and vice versa. All right, so far we don't have any other languages yet. We only translate from English to BM or BM to English. Um, and at the end of the course, I'm sure Shahmi has already mastered um, the usage and have the you know basic understanding on the processes involved in translation. All right, we have an expert, a certified translator, Dr. Zailani, where she will teach you um, the nuts and books translating all right so why i've mentioned it is one of the most important subjects in our course because today the world is becoming more global sorry global <laughs> globalized and more interconnected each day and the good news is the number of people employed in translation industry in the past seven years according to cnbc in 2017 is in higher demand demand so that means if you have the skill in translation, in proofreading, in editing, inshallah, you will be in good hands because this is one of the industry that is going that is projected to be in higher demand in the next, um, you know, in the next five years or in the next ten years. Okay, so other courses include language of persuasion, critical thinking, okay, um, writing skills as well. Not only we focus on speaking, but also in your writing, multimedia English, where you will learn apps and technology that will help you to create awareness of the latest use of technology in language learning. Um, what else? What, what else? Yeah. Research methodology. <laughs> Research methodology is the subject, um, actually the subject that is compulsory in every in every degree course. Um, but um, I think the subjects I've mentioned um, to you just now are the the you know worth mentioning for English language field. However. Later, I will, um, we will go, uh, I will explain more on the communication subjects, okay? All right, <clears throat> thank you so much, Miss. So, you guys have uh, listened to the wonderful explanation by Doctor about everything that you need to know about the courses, the courses that uh, involve the branch of linguistics. There are so many courses that you are, you are going to learn and you are going to explore. They are, they are so interesting, like I because I'm talking from my own experience, even though I, yeah. I'm not finished mm -hmm. yet, but I am going to be a final year student. So I guess uh, three years of education in FBK would give me some experience to talk about it, uh, even though that's not much of uh, me to do the talking, but it's okay. I'll just give some of the this. And then, uh, so we will move on to the third question. So since we have known the courses, uh, what are we are going to learn, so now, how do we prepare ourselves to get into this program? Like, you know, because there are like the most common one, uh, more mm -hmm. than four, that is yes. uh, required and also mm -hmm. for you. But I will give the floor to you, Doctor, to explain more on what are the criteria or what are the things that have been 
uh, look up for a student to join this program. Thank you. Okay, so in other words, is the requirement entry required for you to enter then? All right, so as long as you pass more than four, like Shami have mentioned, and as you get a minimum of B plus in your SPM, inshallah, you are more than qualified to join our program. Okay, let me go, let me just go through to the criteria. All right, so the first one, make sure you got Ben 4, B plus for your SPM. And then if you are at TPM Foundation or Asasi, Foundation is Asasi, right? Metric, sorry, metric or diploma graduates, you need to get at least PNG K 2.75. Okay, and the last one is to obtain minimum grade for any subjects in SPM, excluding Bahasa Melayu, with the grade B. All right, so for instance, if you get at max B and also Pendidikan Islam B, and then you get you get band four from Muat and B plus for um, English in your SPM, and also above your PNGK is above two point seven five. Um, so inshallah, um. Yeah, we are happy to welcome you as one of our students. All right, Miss. Thank you so much. So, uh, like <clears throat> Doctor have said that you just need to uh, have a two point seven five uh, CGPA at least. Is that right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And a B point four and a B plus uh, English subject and credit for other subjects uh, except for BM, right? Yeah. All right. So those are all the requirements or the needs that you need to have. Uh, like the work itself needs so you need to have the needs in order for you to get into this program let not really get into this program i mean how to make yourself qualify or how to make yourself uh, to be uh, in this uh, in fbk so uh, we'll move on to the first question is okay, okay. Sure. so uh, the next question uh, so we have talked about band we have talked about the courses and how uh, to get into band so now we will talk about what makes Ben special. Okay. <laughs> All right. What makes Ben special? I'm sure every program has its own speciality. And as I have mentioned in the beginning, as far as we are concerned, it's the um, it's the only program, can I say that, is the only program that offered um, English and communication in one course. All right. So in this program, 70% um, subjects are English language subjects and the rest are 30% for communication subjects. All right, for other universities, um, mostly most of them, as far as we are concerned, they are offering subjects like, for instance, English linguistics, um, humanities and English literature, or English communication, but not um, with the communication field itself. Right, so based on the proportion that I have mentioned just now, it suggests that the majority of the subjects are English language, but at the same time, we also expose them to communication subjects, like for instance, um, human communication, corporate comm, um, public relations, event management, and planning. All right, so just now I have mentioned that I wanted to brief you about communication subjects. I think this maybe I can do that. Now, can I do it, um, Shami? Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. So maybe I could start with human comp. All right. So, for instance, in this course, in this course, yeah, or in the subject, you will be exposed to effective listening skills, um, and that arts for successful conversation, how to communicate within groups, and also overcoming interpersonal uh, conflicts. In public relations, on the other hand, you will be exposed to the knowledge and functions of public relations, and then you will be exposed to the techniques and strategic practices, as well as the guidelines for effective public relations roles, such as doing publicity, public relation opinions, lobbying, public affairs, <coughs> persuasion, sorry, persuasive campaign and conflict management. So if you have tuned in to our last night live coffee talk, um, FBK coffee talk with our fantastic alumni, they, most of them, majority of them were, are working in different fields and uh, most of them as well are working in public relations. 
All right. So, um, so if you want to know more about what career path that you can venture later in relation to public relation, you can watch the session again. But um, um, I also wanted to stress that we have a new program on public relation per se. All right. Let's say that if you have um, so far that you have watched Ben, uh, you have listened to Ben program and you're still not interested because of the English, it's all right. We have another one which caters on the public relations. All right. So if you're interested to know about public relations, go to our F Facebook group or our FBK website at fbk.unisa.edu.ny to see the requirement that you need to fulfill in order for you to get into the public relations degree. Okay, do I have another one? Okay, another one. All right, so this is the most loved subject by the student. Shahmi hasn't done this because he's only in band six, but inshallah next year, sorry, next semester, band seven, he will sit for this course and the course is event management and planning where students will be exposed to the concepts and foundation of event management all right students will learn from how to organize an event until the completion of the event by using strategies and tools of marketing logistic planning budgeting controlling um, findings uh, finding sponsorship legislation protocols as well as evaluation of the event after the event has finished all right so for many many years this course have conducted um, events with not only community in UNISA but also the outside community um, yeah I think that's it about um, uh, about the speciality of our program um, by integrating two different fields and also the courses that we offer to the students all right. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Doctor, for your explanation. So again, we have heard about what makes Ben special. As uh, Doctor have mentioned, the only course that provide English with communication. So basically, uh, this course is majoring in English but minoring in communication. Right? Yes. You so, yeah. Uh, we the students will don't. Uh, we will have a major in English where we learn all the linguistic branches, all the uh terms all the uh subject and courses but you are also uh obliged oblige to learn the communication uh, part as well so for me it is really interesting because the combination or the combo of english and communication is just perfect as for me that's for my opinion because i think <laughs> yeah. uh, uh i mean in communicate in english and and then you combine English and communication for me it's just like a perfect use for for any student you know it, it will give you an opportunity a bright opportunity for the industry yeah. industrial training or also when you are going to work as well because this like um that they have said the only course uh, the only course that provide English and communication so in terms of the industrial uh, side industry side they will look at oh uh, this student they master english and they also have the communication which is for me it's like a two in one even though it's just a minor but we did learn corporate communication human communication intercultural communication so all those communications mm -hmm. are not meant for nothing they are something to be brought uh, in the future yeah okay. they are interconnected so, yeah so um yeah maybe i would like to stress that english language sure. and communication um they are interconnected there's a gray area between these two fields and we think that um, it is important for the students um, not only to learn about the linguistics uh, linguistics core or linguistic aspects of english but also at the same time become a better communicator um, in the field of communication all right so can we move on to the next question all right so this is going to be the fifth question uh, so we uh, this is also the basic one related to the course yeah the benefits, mm -hmm. benefits and professions of this program so yeah uh, i guess everyone would like to know what are the benefits and profession when you enter uh, this program the floor is yours all right okay so is commonly asked questions faq for the professions um, that we will offer or the students will 
and the board uh, of venture after they finish the studies. So uh, based on our experience, based on the data that we got, that's actually the data that we got from the alumni, that's actually no specific field that we can pinpoint to the students to venture. All right, because with English and communication, you can basically go anywhere as long as you have the skills, you have the determination, and you have the courage to pursue yourself in the field. All right, for instance, um, majority, not majority, but many of our students um, become lecturers, although we didn't teach them teaching, all right, in our courses. I never mentioned about teaching just now. But most of uh, many of them have become English language lecturers and also communication, um, which is fantastic. Another one, um, like I, um, like if you have tuned in to FBK last night, um, many of them work in PR. Some of them become content creator. Um, some of them become PR specialists, work in human resource management, and. If you are brave enough, if you don't feel that, if you feel that you don't want to work, um, you know, under one, you know, under one authority, then you can become also an entrepreneur. All right. So I give you one example. My friend, my best friend, she was a lecturer in FBK um, in the last five for the past, uh, for the past twenty years. All right, so not only in FBK but in other universities as well. She, so she has worked in teaching for about you know nearly fifteen to twenty years, and then she quit the job. All right, but then she now is a successful entrepreneur. What she did is currently with her siblings, she teach online. All right, she become a content creator, um, where she teach English online to adults. Um, so with you know with the technology nowadays, it's not necessarily that you need to uh, if you want to become a teacher, you need to work <clears throat> you need to work with an organization. You know it does it does not mean that way. All right, if you have the skills um, like English language skills or communication, like I've mentioned, um, you can you know um, become the boss of for for yourself. All right, an entrepreneur. Okay, what else can the student venture? Translator, all right. Um, we had uh, students who did internship at ITBN, all right. And also we had students who did um, internship in uh, Penerbitan, okay, Penerbitan companies like USM, Penerbit USM, all right. So Aumi, um, she was my supervisor and she did editing, she did proofreading, translating um, during her internship. And um, uh, I, as, a, as her lecturer, was so proud of her achievement in terms of, you know, because she managed to apply what she had learned in, in, in our courses and then, you know, translate it in the real life. Okay, so translator, um, in the management field, in PR, communication, um, so, um, social media manager, if you are interested to become one, um, proofreader, lecturer, okay, even, okay, even we had alumni, uh, Bashir, who is currently a journalist, all right, so it's very versatile um, course, I would say. All right, <clears throat> thank you so much, Miss. So, uh, yeah, that is what the, it could be considered as the uh, unique or speciality as well. Because mm -hmm. like it, when it comes to English communication or this course, then it could go anywhere as long as you have the skills. Yeah, that is true. Because uh, when uh, speaking from my own experience, when I, when my relative or, or friends will ask about uh, what course do you take, and then because previously I was uh, a TESOL student, I, sure. I, I okay. took foundation, foundation in TESOL, okay. but I, I didn't pursue TESOL, I pursued for band uh, since I didn't like, uh, I didn't get into teaching much. So uh, when the my relatives or my friend asked about the course, they will think that my band is the same as TESOL. I mean, um, when, it, when, when every English courses is TESOL, uh, they will think like that. But, but uh, my job is to tell them, oh no, uh, I learned English with communication. But then when they ask me, oh, what will you work 
what field we work or mm-hmm. I say, uh, lots of field uh, I mean any any field any anything that is related or any field that requires English communication oh okay so but then when they keep asking me and then I will be I will uh, get clueless as uh-huh. if I don't know what is what I'm going to be in the future mm-hmm. but that doesn't that doesn't mean that I don't know what I'm going to mm-hmm. be it's just that I'm still thinking because mm-hmm. like I said the courses that are provided they are so uh we could say uh, huge or there are so many possibilities for you to venture because mm-hmm. la, because like I said I learned uh, uh, communication in so many ways and also linguistic branch in so many branches so you could choose your own path so yeah that that is for my uh, point of view okay so uh now it's 10 40 i guess you have another two or three questions is that okay sure. right? all right all right so we move on to the sixth question uh, okay so um so so the so sixth question i'll ask for those who are interested with them is it compulsory for them to excel in english grammar to pursue this course okay so this is going back to the entry uh, requirement entry that we have mentioned um but as long as you meet the entry which is um i think the most important one is muet band four and also minimum b plus in english for your spm inshallah uh, we are so happy um, to welcome you as one of our students all right so um we in terms of grammar we don't have specific subjects that will teach students on grammar okay right shami did, did you learn any grammar throughout the course so far uh no but we the grammar is being i mean being specified i mean in terms of morphology uh-huh. yeah that's true uh, we okay. are going to learn it in deeper deeper yeah but it's, it's totally a different type of grammar isn't it from what you have learned in school okay so we don't we don't we we didn't um sorry we don't teach a student's grammar but all the english language subjects will be taught in english obviously and we hope that the exposure that the students will get within english speaking environment will help them to improve their proficiency throughout the year throughout the four-year course all right so if you feel that your grammar is not great but you fulfill the requirement is all right there's always room to, for you to practice all right so um it, it does not mean we're not expecting you to be native speakers we're not expecting you to be perfect in grammar i'm i myself is not great in grammar um but um as i said there's always room for you to improve and we hope that with the practice that you get within the classes and also the practice with your friends speaking in english um, writing in english we hope that um, um, practices will help you to enhance your language proficiency all right <clears throat> thank you so much uh, doctor so yeah uh what you told us all of that thing uh all right because uh like you said everything that is uh practice makes perfect you know because uh when i first entered the course mm-hmm. during my first year yeah uh we are not i mean like you said we're not expecting everyone to be fluent i want to be uh you know perfect and etc because the purpose of joining this mm-hmm. course is to make yourself a better speaker a better a fluent speaker and more proficiency but you just need to have some requirement and then you you brush up your your skill your grammar and etc when you enter uh, this course so that is what this course is all about this yes. course, not this course. <laughs> not this right. course okay right. yeah that's very true brush up your skills all right so um i maybe i would like to share you my experience about me when I first entered my degree, right? So I finished my degree in TESOL. Um, me being, um, you know, non-native speaker, like majority of us, ESL um, speakers, English as a second language learner, um, I never speak English at home, right? I never, never in my life speak English at home. Um, and although my mom is was was an english um english teacher 
But I realized, um, I, I realized that I was into English. I listened to a lot of songs, radios, um, radio in English. Um, and I write, I like to read um, novels in English. I like to write. So, but I never speak English, right? Um, um, and um, even in English classes, um, um, I never speak English with my English teacher. I would answer in English, but it doesn't mean that I speak English because that answer requires you uh, to speak in English. It doesn't mean that you communicate in English. All right, so until I went for my degree and I remember the first time where I spoke fully English was with my one of my classmates. Um, so I did, I did not remember exactly what I what I have asked her but to my surprise it to my surprise I was not hesitating at all it, it come it came out like water like it, it came out like so straight all right so um so um like like I was not hesitating but I was to be honest flawless. I was surprised it, it is flawless. Flawless. yeah um to my standard yeah but not to native speaker standard it might be broken english but to my standard who never speak english for 17 years all right um and the first time i speak when i was 17 uh with a stranger yeah, for me it was flawless and um definitely it was not perfect but throughout the four-year course the english courses that i've learned tassel have um, helped me to improve my confidence in English, to speak in English, and also to enhance my writing skills in English. All right, so it's the similar situation. We're not expecting you to be perfect at this, but um, throughout the four year um, course, hopefully with the courses that we offer, you will be able to improve yourself in the language and also become a better communicator. All right. Thank you very much, Roger, uh, for giving you your insight or your experience for your previous uh, degree journey has taught us a lot. And like I just, it is uh, the similar, uh, almost a similar thing that I mentioned, which is about the practice. But yeah, in terms of uh, your story, it is more interesting because you did not uh, speak at all. So yeah, it is. What so, about you? What about your experience? <laughs> uh, yeah, for most. I mean, commonly for most of our Malay, Malay students, I, I don't know, but uh -huh. I, I can take this as a wild guess. Um, generally, we can say that most of the Malay students will not speak English uh, in their homes, uh, even uh -huh. though their parents could speak in English uh -huh. because, it, you know, we would just use our own mother tongue. Why would we need to speak English in our own yeah. house, right? Yeah. So yeah. that's the thing. But they, I, I believe there are some families out there that uh, you know, stress out for stress on their children to learn English from uh, a very uh, early stage, so that when they grow up, so they will be a very fluent bilingual speaker. So that's what their parents are hoping for. But uh, we do learn psycholinguistics, uh, where we learn about uh, critical theory hypothesis, uh, how the kids, how that get, how uh, how long, how much period do a kid could really acquire a language. So that is very important. So if the parents did uh, some research, so that would, that would be good for the children because mm -hmm. they need to know uh, how actually to to teach their children at a small, uh, at a really uh, young age, uh, bilingual. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are two ways actually where you could uh, teach your children uh, both uh, language at the same time or you could uh, teach them their mother tongue first and then the English language. Yeah. How's English? So, okay. So, I guess we will move on to the next question. That's very uh, interesting that you still remember about what you have learned in psycholinguistics. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you do study before our talk? No, no, no. Because I guess, I guess, uh, I don't I know. Guess because you guess it's related. <laughs> no, no. Because that, that's the thing that I say, still remember about psycholinguistics. And, okay. And, uh, then that is the subject that I get a good grade, so I guess that helps it. Yeah, I am <laughs> proud. To be honest, I'm proud that you mentioned about critical period hypothesis. Okay, it shows that okay, this student have learned linguistics. It shows <laughs> <laughs> true, Shahmi. 
I need to show that I'm a third year student or else they will not believe. <laughs> so, uh, okay, that was uh, just joke aside. Uh, we move on. I guess uh, it's ten fifty now. Can we have a last question, or you want okay, another sure. question? Okay, sure. Yeah, maybe we can um, take one more question. Okay. Uh, okay. So this one is about the. Okay, I guess this one is better. <clears throat> can I seek jobs in mass communication field mm -hmm. after? from band are the chances mm -hmm. big enough for to pursue in that field as an English major right. okay. so that will be the question for today all right that is also you know quite popular questions that we get from students about mass communication but by having our degree by enrolling in our degree in band degree will they be able to go into that field all right so as I have mentioned um the world is huge it's very versatile um the the professions offered in this course is very versatile um definitely definitely we are not exposing you to mass communication field but we do expose you to become a better speaker uh, public uh, public speaking course through public speaking course and public relation corporate uh, manage uh, corporate communication um so they are not specifically targeting to mass field, all right. But I wouldn't say that you wouldn't have chance to go in that field, all right. It's a fifty-fifty. I'm sure that you, if you have the passion to go into that field, if you have the skills, I think you have the equal chance for you to compete with graduates from mass fields for you to venture in the field, all right. So. Um, like um, like I've mentioned just now, uh, Bashir, one of our proud uh, alumni, um, fantastic student, and where he is currently now a journalist. We we definitely didn't introduce him to the world of journaling. We introduced you, him the basic concepts in communication field, but definitely not the you know not the nuts and bolts in journal, journal in journalism. <laughs> in journalism all right so but alhamdulillah he's currently now a journalist and we are so proud um to know that our alumni um can go in a lot of field that they feel they are passionate with the and with the skills that we have prepared for them inshallah um and there is a key you can do it all right so if my students come up um, come up to me and ask me can i can i venture into mascom i would say go for it okay um go for it if you have the passion we are here to provide you the knowledge and then at the same time you try to improve yourself try to um you know provide equip yourself with the skills um required and um in order for you to compete uh, with graduates from different field or in mass comm field then i think you have the equal chance to be in the field Right, so do not be afraid. Um, to be honest, um, um, like for instance, now, now I am talking. All right, so it means that I am a public speaker. All right, so but in mass com, in mass com, you also need to be good in speaking in in public. All right, so so it 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 does not mean that if if you are in mass com, then you need to be in mass com field. No, in uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Miss. So, are you interested uh, to be in Mascom? <laughs> no, you? not really. No, not really. That's <laughs> because you. Like... No, that's just giving an insight for everyone. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's right. very good question. Yeah, because I've mentioned um a lot of parents will come up to us and ask about the same question. Yeah, they might not know what Ben is. All right, so this is very good opportunity for me to explain about Ben. Okay, all right, thank you, Doctor. So I'll talk a little bit about uh, your explanation. So yeah, the Mascom, uh, because they think that uh, when you pursue Ben, you could go for Mascom. Yeah, you could try because you never know what the future holds, right? And also, you would be competing with the mass communication graduates, but that doesn't mean that you have <coughs> a lower chance or lack of chance because you are also a graduate is it is just in terms of different course but you also have the english and the communication uh, spec 
text uh, to be filled in the mass communication. So it is not a problem because I, because if I'm not mistaken, there will be mm -hmm. an interview for mass mm -hmm. So yeah, that is your shot. So you have to give a good shot uh, when you have a chance to do so. So yeah, like I said, uh, you don't know what the future holds. So just give your best chance to, you know, if you want to pursue for mass comm, then you can go for this course and you could try. But if you really want mass comm, then you can just go directly yeah. to yeah. Mass <laughs> That's mass true. Mass That's mass true, Shami. Yeah, if you are determined like I want to do mass comm, then maybe <laughs> Ben is not suitable for you. Right, but if you're so determined, I want to be on TV and I want to mm -hmm. do, you know, all the mascom thing, then I, I think, like Makshami mentioned, I have to agree that maybe Ben is not suitable for you. But uh, again, I want to stress that uh, you you are going to be surprised, or you know, you are going to be excited with the Ben program or course because. It has a lot to offer. That is mm -hmm. something that is, I think, uh, really enjoyable along with the journey. But sorry to say, as is, uh, as you can see right now, we are uh, doing OGL. Yeah, okay. Pandemic, <laughs> OGL, so yeah, everything turned upside down. But that would not stop us from keep learning and you know continue our journey because life goes on, right? So yeah, even though what 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 the circumstances or consequences. Uh, that are going to be that are going to happen. We just have to keep uh, carry on and move forward. So do that, uh, doctor. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, online so, learning uh, is another thing. Is another thing, but definitely we're not going to elaborate on that. <laughs> no, we're not going to tell. Yeah. It, it takes a, a full day to elaborate. <laughs> we will we'll need we'll need to uh, you know an army of Falcom to come and debate. <laughs> about the issue <laughs> all right all so right. uh yeah. since uh, we have finished all the questions and the time is almost up uh, i guess i'll give the floor to you to give some uh, summary uh, of what we have uh, today and then i'll continue with my conclusion all right okay so thank you so much to those who are currently tuning in to our talk um, and if you are STPM diploma, assassin, matriculation, graduates, and you are interested to learn about English and communication, then we are so happy to welcome you to be part of our family. All right. So if I'm not mistaken, okay, if I'm not mistaken, tonight will be the last of the due date for you to fill in uh, the UPU form. All right, so you still have time to think after the talk. Um, you still have time to think if this course is the right course for you. Okay, so um, yeah, um, I mean, I mean, we are excited to welcome uh, new students uh, for Ben, and we hope that you will be interested to apply. All right, <clears throat> thank you so much, uh, Doctor. So uh, I'll give a brief uh, summarize um, mm -hmm. for that. I would be a very uh, thank a very thank you a million thousand thank you for you, uh, doctor for thank uh, you, Shami, yeah, for, for putting up with advice. me. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. It's okay because I I uh, I known you for since semester six, so it's okay. <laughs> Not like I I didn't know you at all. Okay, uh, so thank you so much for coming and joining us today to share uh, really beneficial information, especially for those who are interested in joining Ben. Mm -hmm. So this is really good uh, insight for them to know and learn today. Uh, and like um, Dr. have said, tonight is the last uh, due date to fulfill your requirement of UPU. So if you, if you think that Ben is in your future or another courses of in FBK, so yeah. Yeah, put it right away and inshallah mm -hmm. uh, it will lead you to a good way and we have amazing lecturers amazing staff amazing uh, faculty even though we cannot go to the faculty amazing uni Eliza, in this case president as we did uh you could go to the beach and have some coffee echo and etc but that that's not going to happen uh, <laughs> in, i don't know until when yeah. <laughs> yes so uh, uh in conclusion yeah, we have learned a lot about the course, uh, about the program, what are the courses, how to get into the program, how to improve. And the most important thing that I would highlight is you have to 
you don't know until you try. I mean, you cannot, you can't always be, uh, you know, hiding behind the shadow, behind the, uh, you know, you have to show yourself. You have to be, but that doesn't mean that you have to get, you know, over or like, uh, overwhelmed with something, but you just have to do what you think is the right thing to do and you pursue with your, the correct courses that you think that, oh, this will uh, actually help me or benefit me. So, uh, we are almost at the end of our program. Again, thank you so much, Dr. Nazikin, for the interesting... Thank you, Shami. All right, before that, can I say something, Shami? All right, so if you... Okay, so maybe you uh, have this about the entry requirement mentioned uh, for Ben. So if you would like to go to fbk.ediza.edu.ny in that website or in our Facebook page, uh, page that um, in these two pages we have included the requirement entry not only for Ben but for other courses as well in FPK. All right, All right. thank you, Miss. Again, <coughs> so yeah, you have heard it. Uh, every requirement are there on the website and FB, so you can take a look at it, share with your friends and families, relatives. You know, uh, it might be a last minute change of mind, we don't know <laughs> at that time because uh, you know. There's like a hadis that Nabi said, even though it, kalau esok kiamat, kalau ada benih dekat tan, uh, tangan, boleh tanam. So, that doesn't mean that, but that doesn't mean that you are, you are going to do last minute work, but mm-hmm. it means that uh, everything could be changed just within few seconds or minutes. It's just a matter of time. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, as the saying goes, to every beginning, to every beginning, there is an ending. And now the ceremony has come to an end. On behalf of Alcom, thank you for everyone progressing to this program with your presence. I would also like to congratulate the team who put effort into this program SDK Open Day <coughs> directly or indirectly. Again, I would like to apologize if I have made any mistakes throughout the event. I'm sorry uh, to you, Dr. Zikin, and all the guests uh, that are watching uh, today. And hopefully this talk will be beneficial for everyone uh, that, is, that has been joining. Last but not least, Stay tuned for our next talk uh, on the 15th of August regarding this program uh, slot, the second slot, which is will, will be accom- accompanied by a band alumni. And that is very interesting as we will share the POP or insight from a alumni that has been working uh, as a PR executive right now. So yeah, we could uh, listen from him, uh, from his experience, his uh, journey and etc. All right. So, <clears throat> I am my duty as host for today's event with Wabila Hitafiq Wadayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Goodbye and have a nice day. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, you may now leave the live session. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone.